Hello, gorgeous people. Look at us. Pink tone today. Who am I? So I had to bring out a little bit of color because we are finally in the springtime. Oh, guys, here in Canada, the winter can get so crazy that we long for those warm days. And finally, it has been such a delight to go outside for a walk with the kids and enjoy some heat on my skin that I had to, you know, I had to, I had to brighten up my tones here. Now it still is a little bit chilly from time to time. So your girl has a sweater on, but, um, it's definitely getting warmer and I'm so excited for summer. Today's video is all about my everyday makeup look. I get questions on this look all the time, especially on Instagram. Every time I post a story or an image with this style of makeup, I always get DMs on what products am I using when it comes to my makeup lately, and really just pulling off shades and techniques that work for me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I also wanna say, do we, do we um, see this? Do we see these gorgeous, earrings right here okay I have to give a quick shout out to my sister Tasha she just recently launched her online business she makes the most gorgeous jewelry pieces by hand okay guys by hand and I'm so proud of her for starting her own business so definitely giving her a shout out I will link her information down below in the description box for you guys to check out these are super affordable okay super affordable but absolutely gorgeous. This is just one pair that I am wearing and they just look so stunning. Again, everything is handmade by her and it's just so exciting to see her business grow. So definitely, definitely support her. So I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my skin with a little bit of this spray from, oh, Too Faced. This is the Hangover RX 3-in-1. Spray that while my mouth was open, but mmm. It smells so good. It has um, coconut in here and it's really like almost hydrating and soothing. Oh, almost feels like a, like a serum or an essence. Mm. So for spring and summer, I still love a glowy complexion. I do get a little bit oily in the T-zone, mainly in the summertime. So for now, I'm not going to put anything mattifying on my skin. I'm going to go in with Oryx um, Glow Lust. I have mine in the shade. What shade is this? I actually don't know pirate that is the shade and I really love this product to me it doesn't have um, any kind of coverage <laughs> I lost my train of thoughts it really is just a beautiful glow so I put it on the outer perimeters of my face um, I don't do it right here where my pores are because it definitely will emphasize the pores so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it here the highest points of the face and like create this glow that is just perfection in a bottle because I tend to skip out my powder highlighters lately I love using like a liquid illuminator that's gonna kind of shine through the foundation so I've been loving this one there's a ton of them that I actually really enjoy if you guys want a video on my top like liquid illuminators especially for spring and summer let me know I love a good glow on the skin for foundation I just want something that's gonna be a long-lasting not super full coverage but really kind of like blend everything on the skin I've been loving the YSL foundation you guys have seen me use this a ton of times this is the Touche Eclat Le Tint I have mine in the shade BD60 I mean what can I say about this? This is definitely like a reliable foundation. I find that it lasts really well. It looks beautiful and the coverage is definitely buildable, but I like it more light to slight medium rather than a full, full coverage. And this is a banger for me. As always, I'm taking my Morphe brush. This is normally what I use to apply foundation. And I kind of just stipple that product all over the face. Um, I want to say that this color is slightly cooler or neutral. Um, I wish it had a little bit more of a yellow undertone for my skin right now, especially with getting warmer outside. I know that this shade is not going to match me in a couple of weeks, so I'll definitely have to pick up like a darker shade and hopefully something with a warmer undertone. 
but since I am applying such a like light coverage I can work with it you know what I mean I can really work with it and I only did one pump of that foundation um at the back of my hand and really just kind of distributing it all over concentrating in areas that I need more coverage and that's the secret to having um, a foundation look very skin like you don't have to pile on foundation you want to apply it all over the skin and any areas where you have a little bit more discoloration say around your mouth area or in your cheek that's where you go with extra coverage and just kind of build it up in that area make sure that you're blending out the outer perimeters and that everything just looks blended and cohesive like on my forehead especially i don't need a ton of product but i have to put some so that everything looks even right so i am applying the slightest amount and really buffing that into the skin so when it comes to concealer i definitely like a little bit more coverage because i can get really like you know deep bags under my eyes and all that stuff i have a terrible sleeping pattern sometimes so i like to take the touche eclat right under here it brightens up this area but the touche eclat doesn't have a ton of coverage at least for what i'm looking for and then i like to apply it a little bit right here where my small lines are just to brighten up that area and bring it like kind of forward and then i'm going to take a little of my full wear from l'oreal this is in the shade um cashew and the touche claw is in the shade 3.5 a lot brighter than this one but this has the coverage that i need honey so i'm gonna apply just a little bit i don't want too much so i'm literally just dotting a little bit on there so i'm gonna tap that out like that with my concealer i like to tap it make sure that the coverage stays exactly where i placed the product and then if i see any lines i kind of just go on the outer parts and really blend it in with the foundation so it becomes like one product like you not one product it just becomes like your skin you know what i mean that's that's the goal here that we're trying to achieve like really good skin um and then i'm gonna do it on the inner part right here so really tapping it and now i can kind of connect those two sections together and get right up in this corner where we have a lot of darkness so you want to kind of bring up your concealer to this corner here i always take it all the way up to my eyelids just like that oh this is shedding already honey there we go and that is pretty much what i'm going to do in terms of concealer and blending out the smile lines by the way guys i have a little bit of a cut right here my lips were so chapped the other day and they just kind of split so don't mind if you guys can see it on camera um i should have said that in the beginning but <laughs> they are slowly healing that is pretty much it look kind of soft still kind of natural now if i was to do like a heavier beat or for nighttime i would probably highlight the forehead the chin area slightly here too just to give more definition to the face but you know springtime going for a walk going to the shop i don't know um going for like a little brunch i feel like i don't really need all of that i still want um my makeup to really kind of just flow with the atmosphere with myself and so i tend to go less with techniques products and coverage for bronzer i normally have my go-to's but i just picked up this one from huda beauty this is the tantor contour and bronzer cream i got it in the shade light wow i was really surprised when i went to look at them in person how deep these are <laughs> I do believe that they come off a little bit more sheer, but just looking at them in the pan, they looked really, really dark. I love me a good bronzer, so I'm excited about this one, especially when it's um, a cream product. This is supposed to be a dupe from Chanel's um, Tan de Soleil, which I do have, but it is definitely quite light. And here is the shade Light. Am I tripping or is this pretty deep? 
for light. I mean, look at this. I'm using my hourglass, kind of like their foundation brush. This works beautifully. Okay, that it's picking up quite a quite a bit of product. Is this going to be pigmented? Let me just use that much. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. The consistency of this product, the way it's laying down on the skin, totally reminds me of the Chanel bronzer. I mean, ooh, 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 ooh. I want to say, mm, I want to say the Chanel bronzer is a little creamier. Now that I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it on the brush when I picked it up, it's a little creamier, but wow, that's pretty, pretty close. And even though it's pigmented, it is definitely that type of product that comes off sheer and you can build up the coverage. I'm not mad at this shade. Light is nice. It's very subtle, but it's there look at that definitely chisels out the face a little bit more can you guys see that okay oh okay Huda I'm gonna apply that oh it's a lot deeper on the forehead that is that's pretty I love the formula wow the formula is really wearable gentle easy to blend like i'm literally just tapping and that's the kind of product that i love of this product but i am gonna set it slightly with my mac cosmetics gimme sun powder it's so gorgeous you guys let me know if you want to see some type of review maybe we could do a wear test how it dries down and that kind of stuff but wow that's that that's beautiful it's really really beautiful when I first started getting into makeup, this was my first bronzer, not this actual product, but um, Max Gimme Sun was my first ever bronzer. And I was just like feeling like hot shit because I bought MAC Cosmetics. <laughs> so I am going to come back to the face shortly, but I'm going to do blush. And this is the blush that I use all the time. Every single time I get compliments from you guys on Instagram, it's normally this one or the Bite Beauty Beach Babe uh, blush that I am wearing. I just think that they look stunning on the skin. This is from Wonder Beauty. It's their double date lip and cheek um, cream product. On the cheeks, just tapping it. And it gives like a nice flush with a bit of a glow also. I'm trying to, when I apply that, keep it a little bit further out and it kind of elongates the face, which is what I want because I mean, these quarantine pounds are not doing my, my, my cheeks gr great. I'm just saying like the face is getting chubby, okay? Now I'm gonna go back to my eyes. I like to take some kind of pencil or some kind of dark eyeshadow to line my upper lash line. I feel like it just adds little bit more dimension to the eyes and makes my eyelashes look a lot more fuller so I'm actually just taking this Urban Decay 24-7 glide on eye pencil in the shade Double Life it's this kind of coppery uh, brown and when I do apply that I'm not being super precise and neat because I'm going to smudge it out anyways so I just apply that as close as I can get to the lash line just like that and on the outer half I like to thicken up and darken up that area such a pretty unique color and then I just kind of tap that and kind of smudge it a little bit. So it's not like a line, it's more like a shadow that I'm trying to create just. Next up, I'm taking a little eyeshadow here from Auric. This is a Deviant and I'm only taking the topper with that shimmer just a little bit, okay? It does pick up quite a bit of product and I'm gonna just tap it on both sides. And that's all I do for eyeshadow, really. I just want a little 
something, you know, it looked like I put a little effort on my eye makeup, but you know, it took me like two seconds as you guys can see. And my favorite is Bite Beauty. This, this mascara is everything, okay? It just makes my lashes look luscious, full, and elongated. Everything that I ever wanted in a mascara, this is giving it to me. And then last but not least, we have lips. And I'm gonna be using, of course, my trusted cold brew lip liner from NYX Cosmetics. Guys, this is like my jam from years and years ago. I love this lip liner and I think it's just perfect for my skin tone. So I'm gonna line my lips like so. I'm actually just gonna use this lip gloss from Burt's Bees that I use all the time. I love it. I get so many questions when I use this particular lip gloss. It is called, it's just their lip gloss and it's called Punch of Pink. It's so perfect and I just love it. Especially now that my lips are super, super dry. This gives me a little bit of color, but with some hydration, which I definitely need. Look at that. Oh, look at that. So gorgeous. Come on. You tell me if this is not a perfect pink tone. It just goes so well with this sweater too. Oh, it makes the lips look real luscious. So this is the makeup look that I absolutely love and wear so often. It's my everyday look when I'm filming, when I'm taking pictures, if I'm leaving the house and I need to look really put together and feel comfortable with my makeup, this is what I do. Sometimes I switch up the products, but for the most part, I'm using constantly the same ones because they just work and flow. So I know you guys have been asking for a makeup tutorial and here it is, honey. This is a fresh, wearable, all occasion type of look and I love it. So definitely um, try it out. And if you do, tag me on Instagram so that I can repost it on my stories. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. My scent of the day is this baby over here. I thought I would, you know, match a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm serious now. I love Sea Fiore. The other day, I was going to bed and I was like, what should I wear? And I wore this one and it was like, ugh, why did I stop wearing this scent? It's so pretty and feminine and just luscious and creamy. I mean, oh, 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 oh. So wearable. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and saw something new and cool today. Don't forget to check out fashioned by clay to get your hands on some gorgeous unique pieces by my wonderful sister i mean can we just appreciate the creativity and the hustle okay support your black owned business support your women owned business and i will link all of her contact down below in the description box so you guys can check her out i will see you all on the next video ciao